Hello and welcome to Code Time. My name is Pete Medina, and in this series, we're going to take a look at creating a simple grid system using Tailwind's built in Flexbox and with utility classes. Now, this series does assume a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. You should also be familiar with the Tailwind CSS framework and some sort of code editor like Sublime Text. Now, if you don't have experience in any of those things, we do have series about those here on Code Time, so definitely check those out first. With that said, this is a beginner friendly series and you should be up and running pretty quick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create an HTML file. Uh, I already have one over here. It's uh, index.html. I created it inside of a project folder and I'm running Sublime Text 3. Of course, you could use whatever uh, you're most comfortable in. All right, so to get started, let's go ahead and scaffold this out. So I'm going to use the Emmet plugin to generate something really fast. If you're not familiar with Emmet, definitely check out our Getting Started with Sublime Text series. All right, so I'm going to press an exclamation mark and then tab out, and you'll see that it generated a lot of the basics for me. I'll go ahead and give this document a title. I'm going to call it uh, Simple Tailwind Grids. All right, and then once I've done that, I'm going to add a heading. So I'll do H1 and I'll go ahead and use that same title. Uh, for now, we're just getting something set up so we can see what we're working with. All right, and then I'll put a paragraph in here as well. I want uh, the Emmet plugin to generate some text for me. So I'll just write lorem and then press tab and you'll see that I have this paragraph. All right, let's go ahead and close that and save it. So you should have something very similar to this on your screen. If you need to go ahead and pause this episode right now and get set up and when you're ready, we'll continue. All right, so let's go back over to the browser and I'm going to refresh that page. And you'll see that I have my heading and I have that paragraph right below it. Now there are no styles yet because we haven't loaded any sort of CSS. Since this is a series on Tailwind, let's go ahead and grab uh, some Tailwind CSS, and for now we'll just use their CDN or Content Delivery Network. All right, so go over to tailwindcss.com and you can click on this Learn More uh, link right there. And let's look for installation. Uh, so getting started, and then there's installation right here. And we just want to use the CDN, so let's grab this first link right here and copy it and then bring it back into Sublime Text and put it here in the head. I'll put it right there and save it. Now if we refresh our page, it's going to have some of the Tailwind styles in there and you'll see that it, it did a little bit of a, a reset. It changed the font from a serif to a sans serif and it removed some of the default margin and paddings uh, on the edges of this page. So let's go ahead and format, uh, format it a little bit more by adding a container and getting it centered on the screen with a little bit more uh, margin and padding just to add some breathing room. And then we'll take a look at creating a simple grid with it. All right, so to start, I'm going to create a container. I'll use the main tag and I will give it a class of container with a margin class of mx-auto and a side padding of, let's just say PX4. Now, if you're not familiar with any of these classes, they're all part of the standard Tailwind utility class suite. And we do have a getting started with Tailwind series here on Code Time that'll help introduce you to a bunch of these. For now, if you're not familiar with them, just go ahead and follow along and you'll start to see how it's all coming together. All right, so I will then tab all of this information out here and then I will close that main tag. Uh, you know what? I also want to have some um, improved letting in here so that there's more uh, line space. So let's go ahead and do that too. After container, I'm going to write letting normal. And that just increases the line height. All right, so go ahead and pause if you need to. Make sure that you have uh, what I have here. When you're ready, unpause and we'll continue. All right, so let's refresh the page and you'll see that we now have some, uh, some margin on the sides as well as some greater line height here. Let's go ahead and add a margin to the bottom of this heading and then we'll add some additional space above it just so it's not going right up to the top. All right, so for our heading, I'm going to give it a class of MB for margin bottom 
and I'll put an eight in there. Uh, let's also add some space above and below our main content area. So right before MX Auto, I'm going to do MY and I'll put 12. All right, so once this is done, let's save it and then refresh. All right, cool. And then one more thing before we get started with the grids, let's go ahead and increase the font size, both of this heading as well as this main paragraph copy. And then let's create three additional sections. Those are gonna be three smaller subheadings with some smaller paragraphs right below. All right, so let's jump back over here. And for our heading, I'm going to write text dash, we'll do three XL. And then for this paragraph right here, I'm going to give that a class of text XL. So that'll make it a little bit bigger. And then let's go ahead and just add some additional text in here. I'll just uh, copy and paste that just so it's a, a little bit bigger as far as, uh, as far as the copy goes. All right, now let's add a subheading. So I'm going to do H2. Uh, you know, we don't need a, actually let's go ahead and add a class to it. So we'll do H2 class equals border B because we wanna add a border. And let's say border black. So we're gonna add a black border below this heading and we'll just write subheading one and we'll close that out. All right, so we have our subheading one and I'm also going to nest these in here. I think it makes it a little bit clearer to look at. All right, so we have our subheading one. Let's go ahead and add a paragraph below that. And then we will close that off right here. And then just to make it easier, I'm going to copy and paste this two more times and just change one to two and then three. Now later on, these are going to become our grid, but for now, if we refresh our page, we'll see that we have our, our heading right here, our, our main heading, and then we have our paragraph copy and then these three subheadings. And you know what, I think this could be a little bit bigger. So let's go back and increase the size from three XL to five XL. There we go. Great, so in the next episode, we'll lay this out where subheading one, two, and three form a three column grid on desktop and a single column grid on mobile. That does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.